Was there ever a point in history where white privilege did exist? No. no. Um, yeah, I suppose uh, when we lived in a country where if you were black, uh, you were not allowed to go into certain places, right? Uh, I suppose you could say again, and not that's not, I guess that wouldn't be white privilege, you would call that uh, Nordic privilege in the progressive era when there were signs that said Irish need not apply, so that's, that's a different, that is white on white, a lack of a privilege. Uh, of course, there's examples in the history of the world where you would have been privileged if your skin was white, especially in this country and in other countries as well, but today, no, white privilege does not exist. When did it end? Over time, beginning with the civil rights era, it's not a particular incident or moment, but multi-generations, the country became significantly less racist. I would say after Reconstruction, after the Civil War, after, you know, when we had desegregation, fought the Democrat institutional racism, we fought back against the KKK, when the Civil Rights Act was signed, um, when blacks were allowed to participate in Major League Baseball, the National Football League, the National Basketball Association, serve at elected office, all those things, you know, contributed to the end of the, what used to be privilege in, in society, white privilege. You said less racist. When is, so it, is it still somewhat no, racist? No, do you just have questions? I think... No, like, you said you wanted a dialogue. I'm ha no. having oh, a okay. Um, no. It's the least racist country it's, in the world. No, America is not a racist country today. Is it, is there, is it still racist? So no. There, no. There's certain, you can't answer the question. It ended when it's... It ended, I, ended, I just no. did. Okay, I, no, you I, did I, it. You I, said I'll, less I will racist. answer. I'm answer. I'm answering you. Thank you. When it stopped being systemic, when there stopped being laws in yes. place that stopped That's me a as a black answer. person doing what you're able to do as a white man. No, I'm not asking that. Systemic you, racism is not just is not simply that issue. Yes, you you just what asked me to light? define when it stopped being when this what country about stopped being racist. That's you, the answer. When? That I can't give you the exact date and time and hour. I'm telling you give when. Me the decade. What do you mid 1970s? Mid 1970s. So mass incarceration affecting black and brown communities disproportionately they committed, to the population. Because they committed more crimes. They yeah, committed well, more, yeah. As to why? Why did they commit more crimes? Because, because they we ripped black apart the family. Because it's of their not, economic situation. It's, and it's the, absolute, I'm not fucking talking to you, dude. Why don't wait? Come. Huh? Why are liberals so angry? I can't figure out why I'm you're not a liberal. Why are you angry? I'm not a liberal, right so stop assuming my political okay, well, affiliation. Okay, well, you just came out of nowhere and just start cursing. No, you invited me up here to raise my hand. I know, but I'm saying you just turned around no, and you're cursing at someone. The... Why don't you calm down? It's just a conversation. I'm perfectly calm. I Nobody, can curse you don't have to calm. turn around and curse anyone behind you. I can. You're, you're okay. It's a free country, right? Okay. No, no. But I'm saying that it's not necessary to have this dialogue. You just turn around and be angry. I do always remark, and I am going to suspect that you are liberal because right now you're trying to sell me my own. I'm not liberal. You're selling me my own oppression, so that's a very liberal I'm stance. Not liberal. Usually when a white man stands up and tells me that, yes, I, I this is a, a racist country and is oppressed, they do tend to be liberal. Only liberals try to sell me my oppression. But I'm not. But, okay, I'm not going to assume your Thank your you. your Thanks. political ideology. So here's, here's yes, I do. here, <laughs> I mean, to answer your question for me, when the system stops being racist and there's nothing stopping us, and you brought up the prison, the prison rates, and you said something that was actually really important. You said it's because their communities have been economically depressed. So that would not be uh, because of the color of your skin. That, that's economic privilege. If you ask me whether or not I believe in economic privilege, I would tell you yes. If you ask me whether or not I think that somebody born into a family of billionaires has more, will have be afforded more privileges in life than somebody that is born in the projects of Chicago, I would say yes, because economic privilege in this country does exist. But there is nothing, there is no law in place that is stopping a person because of the color of their skin from gaining that economic privilege, which is why I do not believe that white privilege, which is based upon the color of your skin, mm -hmm. exists. Is black poverty and white poverty different? Do no. they face different? No, that's poor a, is poor. That's a, that's a lie. White people are more <laughs> likely to, to be in rural poverty, which is different than urban poverty. That's because black people don't live in rural parts of America. That's because black people don't live in rural parts of America. Why? Historically, why? Why did black people flock? Because of Lyndon Baines urban Johnson, urban planning, central, central planning, great society, where he said, we are going to verticalize the black community, destroy the black father, introduce drugs in the late 1960s, subsidize single motherhood, which used to be 22% in the 1960s, which is now 73%. Only a government program could make something like that happen. Did it, have any, did it have anything to do with the lynchings in the South and the hostility towards black people in the South? Well, first off, you, you is say... Is there you, any reason you're, you're why sitting, they left the South just for so, that Just so everybody that, knows, uh, literally half, not half, you go one-third of the people that were lynched in the South were white Republicans. So Republicans were being lynched in the South um, as well. So let's oh, not pretend... Well. That okay, if, that's if, fine, if your argument, not, if you're asking me, it seems just, like that's a it seems you like you're, you're else. no, I just, Address, I just responded. Does it have anything to do? Do black people leaving the South 
and going to inner cities and other places. He just answered that question for you. Anything to, no, I said, does it have anything to do with the KKK Very little to lynchings yes. and violence in the South that black people face? So what it has to do with is the fact that black people continue. No, answer my question. No, Very little does nothing. it. Yes or no. Very you're little. You're not allowing answer. me to, okay, listen, you're not going to be like, you're not my boss. So don't do tell me, shit. don't you tell me how I have to answer your question. Okay? Nobody's, in, nobody's intimidated no. from you telling me how I'm, I'm going to answer your question. I'm not trying to intimidate you. I'm you're trying to have an honest conversation. Okay? No, I'm trying to have an honest conversation with you guys do not Why don't you stop exercising your invisible white privilege and let the black girl talk for a second, okay? That's nice. No, this has nothing to do with Okay, so to answer your question, so white privilege Everything exists. That you're wait, wait, about, wait, 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 wait. No, I said There's, invisible white, white privilege. I said then. invisible white privilege. If you listen, of course okay? it's invisible. So white privilege is not first, a tangible white thing. White privilege does not exist. Economic privilege does exist. Okay. If you're asking me, do I think the black community has been crippled economically? The answer would be yes. It has been crippled economically by Democrat policies. You just heard Who me say that. Who cares? Who doesn't? I, I Democrats, care, are that you, Democrats are Americans. Democrats are Americans. So therefore, you, you just admitted that, you, that there has been disadvantages by two black people by Democrats. It is, it is not based you off just of the. It. it is not based off. You ask no, me if white so. privilege exists. The answer is white privilege because you're born white. That means you're going to not you have just, this or that. It does not exist. No, it does you not just exist. Just admitted that the Democrats, the boogeyman Democrats, they're not boogeyman. They exist. The boogeyman people. doesn't exist. No. Sixty years Democrats ago, Democrats do exist. They did it. So boogeyman means doesn't they exist. Did it. Just so you know, there We're are Democrats. So you admit that it exists. Sixty. I don't think you're you're comprehending. Yeah. So you're not, you're not I'm not sure that you are. You said 60 the, years ago, white people had it better than black people. Over time, there's no you. more systemic laws that are in place. What? what let, let me let me ask you a question. What, let me ask you a question. What can a white person do, do that a black person cannot do today in today's America? Name one thing. Well, black people answer the question. Isn't I'm that isn't that how this works? The fucking question. Black people who smoke marijuana, black and white people smoke marijuana at the same rates. Yet a black person is three to four times more likely to be put that. in jail for that. Okay. okay and yes. I know the reason why, because yeah, the police are in the no, urban communities, it's no, in your police those communities. Sure. Because actually, that, I had a girlfriend, I had a family member who got a DUI, and I had a girlfriend who got a DUI. Just to let you know I, I, by I, just saying what you're saying and standing up here and knowing what's going on through the police brutality. Doing justice. I All love this. Stuff, this is so, I guys, I, I love that behind me. There's like black people rolling their eyes, but the two white guys are yelling at me, telling me that I don't agree with them. It's, it's, this is what I love about white liberals, right? Like they know it's so important for them to sell us no, our oppression that they'll come up and tell us we're in the race. Just say, just say, just say it, just say it, just say it. You speak for well, why don't you stop speaking for black people? That would be great. Okay. Hey everybody, this is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.